Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Space Block. In between episodes, um, I expanded out some of our resource production just a little bit. Um, I added a little bootstrap facility here for making assembly machines, as well as one for just replicating some some stone ore, just to kind of get keep that going, keep that number going up. Uh, landfill's been doing all right. Um, it's interesting, the bottleneck we have here is not our red science production, but actually just the speed at which we can get landfill into the machine. Um, if we were to fix that problem, then the automation science pack would be the bottleneck. Um, we'll, we'll address that a little bit later. Um, I did add a couple of extra science labs here just because it wasn't, uh, this, this stuff was backing up and, uh, I want to do science. Uh, so yeah, this episode, I want to kind of, I, I haven't been really doing much calculation or anything like that. I haven't been doing the math. I've just been kind of shooting from the hip as far as making machines and stuff like that. I, I, I kind of want to shift gears on that a little bit. Um, we will get into that later. But first, uh, what I would like to do is get a little bit of steel going. Because uh, we have the capability of making it. Uh, we have things that we could make with it. Uh, we're just we're just not doing that right now. Uh, so let's come up here. Let's grab a little bit of landfill. We've almost got a full chest going. That is exciting to me. And I think what I would like to do is uh, commandeer this copper maker here and move it further down and turn that into a steel maker and, and use this line right here to make the steel with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's just uh, use a little bit of our landfill here. Uh, let's unplug that. Uh, we're going to need some more splitters. Let's go ahead and make that. Uh, let's gather up all of this stuff. Uh, take you guys out. Uh, let's just take you all out. And, uh, yeah, we'll convert this over to steel. Okay, for a steel, we would want this first line to grab the iron ore, just like always. And then we'll have an additional line down here that the smelted iron will go into. And then that will spit out to a line right here. That will be the steel coming out. And we also need another line coming through the middle here. That will be coal. Uh, so split you off. Uh, we take this and duplicate it on the other side. Uh, you're going to be in, you're going to be in, and then we get some long-handed inserters. You're going to be out, you're going to be out, you're going to be in, and you're going to be in. That needs to go to right there, and look at that. Fits perfect. Fantastic. All right, that'll come down right there. That'll be our steel line coming out. Then I want to take you and put you right there. Uh, now, in order for this setup to work fully set up, we're going to need some steel power poles. Uh, we don't currently have any of those. Uh, but we're researching them right now. So uh, just, just setting this up, regular power poles, I believe, will work. All right, and uh, that gets uh, steel going. Um, let's go ahead. Let's take a blueprint of this right here. Um, include the tiles. Uh, take that out. And place that down here. Okay, and uh, this will be our new copper setup. Uh, we need more. We need more of those. Uh, we don't have any more of those. We don't have the capability to make any more of those. Uh, let's see. This can end here. I think. I don't know that. Um, I don't know that we're going to be doing like a, a major smelting area. 
And uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Ah, steel on the line. That makes me happy. Uh, just, just to, let's, let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get a good amount of them. Okay, you will come in there. Uh, you will go in there. And you... Uh, we can go ahead and take this down. I'm sure we will expand it out this far someday. Uh, that is the copper line. Let's go ahead and take that down. And that one right there. All right, uh, we now have steel. Fantastic. We can build uh, fun steel things. And uh, yeah. All right. Um, well, that 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 takes care of that. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll roll the intro, and on the other side, uh, we will start expanding out the factory in a more in a more permanent way. I would say. So in a typical normal Factorio playthrough, I would generally have an area that, um, not, not necessarily for generating the ores. Well, I mean, we do have those. Those would be like the ore patches. Uh, but we'd be taking all that to a centralized location where we would have a centralized smelting setup. And uh, we would take those items and send them down a bus or down a train network where we are taking stuff off of that network and then putting stuff on the network as we're creating different uh, green circuits, red circuits, uh, different sciences, all of those things. And that kind of makes the most sense, I think, with a, a Factorio just regular playthrough. Uh, however, we're not doing a normal Factorio playthrough, and I'm not sure that that setup is going to make a lot of sense for us, or, or the most sense. Uh, or, or more accurately, I believe there may be other things that we can do that would make sense that may not make sense in a normal uh, Factorio playthrough. Um, in, in that we can create the ore anywhere. Uh, and we can calculate precisely how much ore we're generating. We have a lot of control over that. Uh, we don't have to worry about outposts wearing out. We can make a truly module, modular setup for just about everything. And uh, that's what I think I want to do. Um, so the first module I would like to make, I think, is a dedicated, a fully dedicated landfill maker. Uh, one of these can make uh, one landfill every 0.5 seconds if we adjust that for the crafting time of a blue assembler. That comes to 1.5 landfill a second, I believe. And... Um, yeah, um, so some important numbers. Um, if you scale it up to the blue science, uh, one of these ore makers can make 0.15, uh, 0.15, I should say. <laughs> that sounds better. Um, ore, coal, stone, whatever, a second. Uh, or nine every minute. Uh, so if we use those numbers and uh, bring that up uh, and plug it into a calculator, what that gives us, I believe, is we are going to need 90 of these red science items a minute in order for that machine to run full time. Uh, provided we could get the, uh, the logistics of getting the landfill back in the machine fast enough, which I think we'll be able to do. Um, so yeah, that's going to require 10 of those machines, uh, one of gear machine running full time. Um, that gear machine is going to require 180 iron plates. Uh, the science will require 90, uh, copper plates, which will require three steel furnaces, five steel furnaces for the iron. And that of course will require 180 iron ore per minute, 90 copper ore per minute, or, uh, 10 machines. Uh, because we can do nine a minute and uh, 20 machines because we can do nine a minute. And uh, then we'll need a coal machine, actually two coal machines because of that 0.72. Uh, but, you know, excess coal never hurt anybody. 
Um, so that makes it fully self-contained with the exception of power, of course, which I did not put into that uh, calculation, although we technically could. That's an interesting idea. Uh, well, let's just start. Let's just start with what we have. Um, and, uh, we should be able to make some steel furnaces, although I have not been smelting any stone bricks. So let's get some of that going. And, uh, that's, we just need steel and stone brick, right? And logistic science pack energy. Okay. Please be good. Please be good. Logistic science pack and five automation science pack energy. That is, um, that's not great. Uh, let's see. We have some of these that we can recycle. So let's, uh, do that. Um, actually we've got, we've got some backups here. Uh, recycle a couple of those. All right. And, um, let's just grab some logistic science packs. That is six. We need eight. That is seven, eight. Why there's a... <laughs> why that number went up as we were getting more of those. Uh, I'm sure there was a... I'm sure there was a good reason. All right, and that'll, that'll bring that up to where we can actually make the stone furnaces. Um, okay, so let's... Uh... Well, let's just, uh, let's set up an area for doing this. Um, I want a line. And I think I want a line that is there. Uh, which is one down from there. From that machine right there. All right, so that's our line uh, that we can base uh, our base going off uh, that way, I guess, at least starting out. Uh, let's grab some landfill and uh, make a little bit of space here for us to, to work with. Uh, let's mark that line. I don't know how much we want to start out with, but um, that seems reasonable. Uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot more. Um. Okay. Uh, let's just let's just lay stuff out here. We're gonna need um, we're gonna need some more. Let's just go ahead and grab some of this stuff. Grab some uh, of the assembly machines. Uh, we'll throw those guys in there to be recycled. And uh, yeah, do we have enough to get uh, to get our our smelters? Uh, we can make seven. Need some more stone brick. Uh, uh oh, <laughs> we might need to make some more. Uh, we might need, might need to make some more stone smelting. Um, all right, let's just, uh, let's just lay some things out here. We're going to need, um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's go out one more. And let's do like a double line. And just for spacing purposes, I'm not going to lay anything out, but these are going to be making those. And eventually they'll be blue, but we'll start them out as gray. And that is the science that we need. Um, that's the space where that is going to fit. All right, and then we're gonna need, we already have a blueprint for this. Uh, we're going to need these guys. We're going to need two of those for iron. And one of those for copper. Uh, 
And then we're gonna need a smelting setup. Um, we need we need one more. Uh, what were we waiting on? We were waiting on stone brick. Uh, so five. Making iron. And then three making copper. If you fed in from up there, if we made you copper, Okay, if we sent copper in that line, iron and coal, iron and coal, copper and coal, uh, copper ore and coal in that line. Uh, that then we switch these, take these going that direction. That would be our iron line going out. That would be our copper line going out. If we put in an assembly machine right there and set you to make gears. Uh, gears would go on the inside. Uh, copper would be on the outside. Uh, we could send that over into that. Uh, then we would just need uh, copper coming in on this line and then iron coming in on that line, right? Uh, then you guys spit out onto that line, and we could take that over here and then have our machine right here making landfill. And as for you guys, let's see, if we just turn this over like that... And did uh, one, two, three of those. One, two, three. Uh, are we low on something? No, just, uh, oh, no, we're low on belt. Uh, probably should be grabbing some of that belt now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, we've got a lot of inserters in our inventory. 
Um, probably should have kept some of those. Uh, can we make a filter inserter right now? We cannot. Why not? Because we can't make a fast insert. We can make a fast inserter. Oh, we need the... Yeah, we'll just plonk him on the end there. Oh, and, and that'll take a while. Okay. Um, I, I don't know that I mentioned, um, there is a link down in the description with all the mods that I'm using. Um, this mod right here I, I have installed, it's called Ghost Placer Express. Uh, that is what is, uh, what's, uh, causing me to just mouse over and place all these ghost images. Um, it's a super handy blueprint. I know there are other things, but I don't know. It, it's just, it's just, it's just the mod that I like for it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so if that goes out there, that should build all of that. Uh, we can get our filter inserter here now. I want you grabbing uh, just the belt. We limit that to three. Okay, and uh, oh, went too far. Uh, so yeah, if that, those two come together there, uh, we would want, we're going to have a dedicated facility here for making landfill. There's no reason to just not square it off. Uh, that will be the copper coming in. And then we need uh, two machines, just like this, somewhere making coal. Uh, let's put them right here. Um, let's do that coming out. If we took you out like that. Uh, do I not have an underground? I guess I don't. Uh, do we need those for the undergrounds too? Boy, we need those thing for everything. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to that mod for much longer. Um, I, I thought it might make for some interesting builds, but um, it, it's it's kind of just uh, it's kind of just annoying. Uh, annoying is not the right word, I guess. I don't, I don't know what the right word is. Uh, 
Uh, there, there, there. Do we need these up here? I don't think so. There. Uh, boy, that wire is just a big. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, all right. So for you guys, we're gonna need some long-handed inserters. I need like three more. What am I missing for that? These. And uh, those and iron. Um, okay, so input, input, output, output, out, out, in, in, out, in, out, in, fat. Uh, we do, we can't make the steel power poles now. Fantastic. Uh, we'll just go ahead and finish this up with the wood ones, though. And I've gotten the habit of going and reproducing some more wood whenever I make the power poles, just so I know that I'm replacing at least some of the ones that I've used. Oh, uh, <laughs> we actually needed the mediums for this. Ah, uh, that's fine. All right, all of that should be good to go. Uh, can we make some of the loaders now? We can. We'll probably just need more, more, more stuff. I want to get some loaders set up because I think we can use those to, um... Uh, uh, to make to make this landfill work just a tad bit better. Um, two of those. Mm. Might 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 try for three. Um, all right, so the science is going to come in here. I think uh, just a normal fast inserter will be fine for bringing them in. We'll just we'll just leave that as a regular inserter now. Uh, and then I want to unload using a loader. Uh, we need to load using a loader, and yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need another loader. Uh, we need underground belt for that. Probably more iron. I was going to say, where's all our iron going? Our iron is going up here because I'm buffering stuff in this chest. Let's uh, take that back a little bit. Okay, there's our underground belt. Okay, there's our, our other loader. And uh, can we make a fancy chest? We can make a fancy steel chest. I say we use that. All right, that goes into that chest. Uh, we're going to need another one. <laughs> we're going to need four. Um, all right, that's that's okay. What do we need for that? We need one of those. Uh, we, we probably just need like a, a ton of iron is is what we need. Which is currently something uh, that we don't have. Well, let's go ahead. We'll grab some ore. Uh, we'll grab some coal. 
come down here and uh, hopefully be able to grab some of the copper ore as well. All right, there's our other loader. Okay, there is that, and there are you guys. Got our loader yet? Not yet. Uh, but that will go right there. So that will now unload at full speed. So we won't have the backup there. And then that will load at full speed. We probably actually didn't need that. Because I don't think loading it is the problem. I think the unloading it is the problem. So I think if we unloaded into a chest and then just grabbed... A couple of fast inserters. Uh, we could probably make that work. Starting to buffer up iron again. Very good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Dump all these into there. Uh, yeah, I was wanting one there, 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 and there. All right, and then we just need some landfill to seed this. Oh, I've got plenty in my inventory. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I know it looks like it's bottleneck there, but I think it should catch up as the number amount increases. Uh, no, it won't, will it? Hmm... All right, so maybe we did need that other loader. Is the loader even going to help now that I'm thinking about it? Uh, let's just throw a stack in there to get that get that started. That number going up. All right, there we go. That's looking pretty good. All right, that should keep you running full time and just basically buffering up uh, landfill for us. That should keep uh, a little bit of a buffer there so that we could always make it if we clear out this chest completely. Um, how are we doing down here? Are you guys uh, keeping up? Uh, what are we looking at here? Power problems? Yes. Of course we are. Uh, why wouldn't we be? All right, but coal's looking like it's good. It looks like um, we are actually getting some smelting done down here at the bottom, which is nice. I'm, uh, I'm liking that. All right, um, 
got kind of a, in, in the comments, I guess there's kind of like a Team Solar and a Team Coal. <laughs> I haven't, uh, they, they, they've both made uh, intriguing cases. Uh, I'm going to kind of take a look at those numbers in between episodes and see, uh, see where that's going to end up. Uh, but for now, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. Well, yeah, I, 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 I kind of like this idea of this little self-sustained thing. That um, is is just going to just going to constantly pump out landfill. Doesn't need any other input. Uh, doesn't. It's not going to send anything else out other than just pure, pure landfill. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Have a good one.